What's good, Kit Bashers? I am the Kit Bashing Guy. Yo, back with another video. I know, I know. It's been three weeks since I put out another video. But, you, we got some in the works, alright? I'm just waiting on materials. You know, these things take time or whatever, but no excuse. That's why I'm putting this one out here. Anyway, yo, basically, and I know this for some of y'all. No, I know for all y'all, this is the first time y'all hearing my voice. But, uh, anyway, basically this video is just to show just some of the work I've done before I even started this channel. This is what inspired this channel, you know? I was just basically bored. And, you know, I decided to just take figures that I didn't have and put them together, basically. Um, you know, anything that I would think of. So that's what this is about. And I know I'm known for One Piece characters, but Dragon Ball is my first love uh, but One Piece you know it has a special place because we don't have like a One Piece line like that and if we do they're like mad tall there's no like 6 inch 5 inch scale so that's why I decided to make the Luffy and the Sanji I know that there's there's SH figure arts and I think the other one's called Variable Action Heroes, but yo, they're mad money. They're like a hundred bucks and change. And ain't nobody got time to be paying for that for no action figure, you know what I'm saying? Not knocking who does, but that just ain't me. So I'd rather just make them. It's less expensive and it's a blast because of, you know, how it turns out. But anyway, enough of my babbling. As far as that goes, let's get into some of these. Uh, you know what? I'll start with... Uh, this one right here, this uh, Super Saiyan Gohan. Now, he's not really a kit bash because um, he basically comes like this. But I decided to, uh, you know, uh, put uh, like battle damage marks on his face. I have another head where he looks normal because besides the Bojack movie, you ain't never seen a clean looking Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. So, he's still in the works too. I'm going to get his arm and I'm, I'm going to make him look good. He'll definitely be in another video later on. Probably way later on. He's not really priority. But, that's uh, that's it for him. This is, this is really quick. I just, I like the way he turned out, you know. So, next we got, and I'm a Gohan fan by the way, so. There's a couple of Gohans up in here. Next, we got Great Saiyan Man Super Saiyan Gohan. Now, this one was one of my first, if not the first. I'm not too sure. But anyway, he he's basically made up of uh, the Dragon Star's black, Goku black body I took and I painted it. And uh, then I took a Super Saiyan Dra Dragon Star's Gohan. And took his head and basically just placed them on there. And uh, I took a couple of extra hands and stuff, and uh, you know made those like Vegeta-like gloves. And he came out pretty good, I should say. I'm pretty sure he was my first, but he definitely was a big one. Why he inspired me to do this channel? He's probably gonna fall, but I don't care. He'll be alright. No, let's try to get him to stand. I should try to get him to stand. All right, whatever. Looks like a Michael Jackson pose he's doing. Anyway, next I got one of my favorites right here. It's Oob. Now, Oob from GT, of course. This is Oob from GT. Now, Oob was inspired by Dragon Ball GT in a, in, in a sense because I was looking on eBay and they had no type of this kind of style of Oob. And this gi. And I always thought this gi was so cool. And I always thought they should start Oob. Like a, a, a new storyline with Oob. A new series. Like Dragon Ball Oob or something. You know. So I decided to uh, to make him. I basically took that Super Saiyan 2 Gohan's body. Painted it up. And I took this head from um, one of them old Jack Pacific Oob figures. And placed it on there. And I thought he came out well. He's one of my first as well too. Okay, next we got Ultra Instinct Omen Goku. Now, 
this one is dope because um, what happened was that Super Saiyan Gohan from uh, the Dragon Star series, his leg had broke. So I was like, dang, man, what am I going to do with his, doing this extra piece of body? And I was like, oh, snap. Why don't I make a a uh, Goku, The you know, everybody knows Goku's famous for his tattered blue shirt. So I decided to do that. So it's cool because, you know, I could swap his head with a Super Saiyan Goku. So it would look like the one from when Goku fought Frieza. So it's cool. It's very versatile. I like it. And when uh, Dragon Stars came out with their Ultra Instinct Omen Goku, he had no shirt on. And it just didn't look right with the black hair. So this was the end product. And, you know, I like it. He's probably going to fall too. But they're all probably going to fall. Come on, Goku. Come on. All right, I'll take it. All right, next, I got Goten GT. Now, I do have love for GT. I know the series was not that great, but uh, the character designs were really cool. I like the Goten because, you know, he just looked cool with the purple and white. So I basically took an Android 17 body from uh, Dragon Stars, the Dragon Star series, and took this head from a Jack Pacific uh, Goten and just placed it on there, painted this up, and he came out really well. He's one of my last that I've done. Um, so it looks good in my GT collection. And finally, last but not least, Pikachan. And no, he's not, he doesn't exist in the Dragon Ball world, but in Kit Bashing God world, he exists. Um, he got inspired because, man, I always loved Piccolo and Gohan and just their relationship. And, excuse me, you would think that they would have fused by now. We're still waiting. Hopefully, maybe in this moral arc, if any of y'all follow the manga, in this moral arc, maybe they'll be the ones to defeat Moro. Highly doubt it, but anybody can dream, right? So, basically, I took, um, I took, uh, I had an extra Ultra Instinct Goku Dragon Star's body. I took that and then I took, um, uh, I had the extra Piccolo, I took his arms uh, and I put him on there. And then I had an extra Gogeta from Dragon Stars. And I just took those legs and just put them together, painted them up and I used the, uh, the Gohan head, the Mystic Gohan head from, um, it wasn't, it was Mr. Gohan, but it was the dark Mr. Gohan, the one that's red and, red and black, and you can only get it from GameStop, it was a GameStop exclusive, so, this is what came out, and I decided to paint this hair white, because, like, I was thinking, I was like, okay, this dude would look kind of, like, crazy with black hair, and I was like, he would look kind of crazy with, like, Super Saiyan yellow hair, so this worked out, so I thought white, because, you know, Gohan's Mystic Saiyan power has, like, a white aura, so I did it that way. So yeah, this is basically what inspired this channel. And uh, I'm really happy with it. I'm having so much fun. This is like a great hobby. And uh, I'm just gonna continue with it. You know, I do my One Piece stuff. I love One Piece. These The, the characters are just awesome. You know, so the next video is gonna be uh, Kobe from One Piece. The uh, He's not an admiral yet. I think he's a, a vice admiral now. But the, in the time skip. So he's my next video that's going to be coming out. I'm going to just keep doing One Piece right now. Because, you know, it's it's still it's a trending manga and trending anime. So I'm just going to keep going that route. Um, with it, I will be doing more Dragon Ball. Maybe I'll do a, a, a GT Trunks or something. But it's going to be a lot of characters that you don't that you don't see on this channel that don't have action figures. Or if they do have action figures, they're mad tall. So, um, yeah, it's going to be a lot of those, you know, that you can pose around and stuff like that. So, yeah, man, yo, follow my Instagram, um, like, share this video, um, check out my other videos, I have three other videos, and there's going to be more content coming, I promise y'all, all right? So, keep kit bashing, um, thanks, thank you guys who, for those who support this channel, and let's grow it together, man, you never know what could happen, all right? I'll holler at y'all, peace.